Hi guys, General Splatten here. I want to do today a review of paintbrushes. Got a question about what paint, kind of paintbrushes I use from different subscribers. Been wanting to do this video for a while now, so here it is. What you see before you is two sets of brushes. One here on the left are Windsor Newton Series 7 miniature brushes. Uh, and on the right are the Raphael 8408 uh, watercolor brushes that are recommended for use with acrylics. We'll start real quickly and briefly, hopefully, this is about the fifth time I've tried to do this video because of length, uh, the Series 7 is, Windsor Newton is made in England, they've been around for over a hundred years, I have a number two, a number one, and a triple alt brush there. Now, they're made from uh, uh, Kalinsky Sable and being a miniature brush these are smaller than their normal brushes now uh, the tip on these brushes is excellent it has a has wonderful snap in other words when you make a stroke the tip snaps back into place so uh, if you are a person that has a flicking style where you paint this way where you're going down or if you're doing back and forth these are the brushes for you. If you are a person that lays down uh, layers, they have a three or four color layer method that you use, or you do a uh, feathering, these are the brushes for you because that tip's going to come back every single time. Uh, quality hair, but here's the problem I have with a Series 7 the quality of the brush sometimes is not there. You run the risk of getting a crappy brush. Uh, for some reason, the quality control isn't what it should be. And all the research I've done on the internet, and I've, I've done a lot, where it comes back to the same point over and over again. If you get a quality brush out of the package, <coughs> then you have a wonderful brush. But you can get a piece of crap. And so that's uh, wanted to put that out there to you. These are great brushes. If you get a great brush, Otherwise, you got something you need to return or throw in a trash can or use for dry brushing. Uh, I consider these still, though, to be the, like the Cadillac uh, paintbrushes. They are world renowned in uh, the painting community. But watch out, you run the risk. Now, on to the Raphaels. I have a number two, and a zero, and a six off. There's no rhyme or reason about paintbrush sizes just whatever company slaps on it these are like I said a watercolor brush but they are for acrylics these are uh, Kalinsky Sable and I think these are softer than the Windsor Newton Series 7's these are soft soft brush the, the Sable on these is just absolutely fantastic <coughs> Excuse me. you'll notice that these are quite a bit longer uh, let me see if I can get a point on this The points are sharper than the Series 7, so you can do really small lining, lettering, uh, detailing with these. Uh, wonderful, wonderful tips on them. Uh, the bulb here is going to be larger than on your standard or normal size brush, and certainly with the Series 7. So you're going to hold more paint, more medium in uh, that bulb, so you can paint larger areas for longer periods of time. Uh, also, because it's longer, to be able to the the barrel and the bulb help to uh, hold more paint. And as I'm going through here, you'll notice that it bends. That is not something where it's going to have the permanent little hook because it's a low quality brush. No, you clean it out. That tip's going to come back right to a sharp, sharp, fine point as it always does. This brush, to me, is designed to manipulate paint. If you are a blender, a glazer or shadower or highlighter with a or you use long smooth strokes like I do then this is the paintbrush for you this paintbrush is designed by the barrel and the size of that bulb to hold paint and manipulate paint for greater periods of time over larger areas that's what this brush is designed to do and like I said if you paint with a slower style where you use long strokes for shadowing blending highlights this is the brush. These manipulate much, much better, in my opinion. <clears throat> now, and through personal experience. 
They're they're also this company is based in France. They've been around over 200 years. There is no quality issue with these brushes. You buy the exact same brush every single time. They are phenomenal in their quality. There is no quality issue like there is with the Windsor Newton Series 7. These are wonderful brushes. I cannot high, uh, speak highly of enough. Those are the Cadillacs, the Series 7. These, to me, are the Rolls Royces. These are the Bentleys of the world, uh, painting world. They have excellent reputations, but to me, this is a finer brush, and it has that reputation of being uh, a fine quality brush in the world. You know, as far as miniature paint, painters, you know, the guys that win the big awards and in international competitions, uh, a lot of them use the Series Seven, but a great many of them, especially over in U Europe, use these Raphaels. <clears throat> so, uh, people that win go Golden Demons and the uh, different wards of the world you know a lot of them use the, this particular brush so can't can't uh, overrate it enough I love this brush why because it suits my style basically now here's the interesting part about the review do I recommend both these brushes absolutely and you think what but here bear out with me now for different reasons my reviews are about placing especially when I'm doing a, a multi product review like I'm going to be doing with paint and these brushes and other things to put the product with the person in other words what I'm saying if you've got a layering style or flicking style even though you run the risk of getting a crappy brush go with the Windsor Newtons for the reasons I've stated if you layer paint you manipulate paint you shadow you uh, blend you go with the Raphael's. You'll never have to worry about quality, first off, but it's designed to do that uh, particular style better. So, my reviews are about one thing. Like I said, placing the right product with the, with the proper person. In other words, <clears throat> giving you information for you to make informed decisions. A review is not a review if it's like, oh, I love this one, I hate that one because it sucks. You know, no, that's not a review. I'm just giving out opinion, and my opinion is no more valuable than anybody else's. My reviews are based on uh, personal experience and on uh, also research that I have done on the internet and talking with other folks and laying it out, I think, concretely, demonstrably. About the points that I have for each brush and their value and and what it does best and what it doesn't do well and like I said you layer you flick go with these you blend you shadow you have a slower style methodical style you go with the Raphael it's just you gotta match it up and give you the information you need so I say you know what your style is. You know how you paint. You know what your brush stroke style is. Now you can make about these two brushes. And I think they're two best. I don't own a Da Vinci. No, I can't speak intelligently on those. These two I can't. For personal use and through research. And for the reasons I say. Uh, I can't recommend the Raphael highly enough. I have a guarded recommendation on the Series 7. You get a, a good brush. Then hey, you'll be very, very pleased with it. It's just the question of quality. That's what my reviews are about. Finding something that's going to help you make the best choice you can to make your hobby better. That's what a review is to me. Let me know what you think about that. I hope I've given you some information that if you don't own either of these brushes and thought about them, can help steer you in the style that you need to go. And certainly, if this review helps you make a choice and you do make a purchase or something let me know about it I mean that would make my day to, to know that I passed on some kind of information that helped another individual improve their hobby so I ask you please rate please subscribe please make comments send me a personal message or, uh, whatever to uh, communicate with me I'd love to hear from you well that's the review I hope you liked it this is General Splatton and I'll talk again